Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Mackenzie and I'm a homeschooling mom to four kids. And today I wanna to show you all the resources that I'm using for the Well-Educated Hearts Rotation 1, which is for the month of September. And in Rotation 1, they have an emphasis on learning about exploration, 1500s exploration, China, India, Scandinavia, and the South Seas as well as space. So like stars, planets, the solar system, and all that. I decided I didn't wanna go through all of those subjects because I feel like that's kind of a lot for one month. So I let my kids just choose out of those topics what they wanted to learn about this month. And my oldest chose China. She wants to learn about China. So I grabbed some resources on China that I wanna share with you guys that go well with um, month one for well-educated hearts rotation. And then my other daughter chose um, the South Seas, but particularly Australia. So she has been watching on Netflix, is it Izzy's Koala World? She just loves the koalas and watching her take care of the koalas. And I think that is what sparked her interest in Australia. So she really wants to learn about Australia. So we're going to learn about Australia and then of course, we always take their science um, topic and study that. So we're going to be learning about space. So I will show you all of our resources that we're using for those topics. So for China, I have pulled a few stories and these are the ones that we have read already that we have enjoyed. Um, so the first one is China Travel for Kids. So this is a little boy that tells his experience of living in China. He's from China. And so he talks about his grandpa and grandma and his family and kind of how they live in China and just traditions and food and transportation and things like that. So the kids have enjoyed that. We're still working our way through this book, but they have learned how to say grandpa and grandma. And we practice that daily because I think that's just so fun that they know Chinese words. So we have learned that from this book. And this is a story that I just had lying around and it's a Chinese tale. It's called The Snow Lion. And so it's just an old tale from China and we have read this book and they really enjoyed that. So we've read that one. We also use five in a row. And so I will just go through and pick which book out of five in a row that will match with the topic that we're studying. And so we've gone through a pair of red clogs. We have done two of these activities from here. Um, we don't do five in a row like it's supposed to, five days in a row. We'll do it one day a week. And so we'll probably only do read the book twice and then we'll move on to the next one. But they have enjoyed this story. Our next one is a story about Ping. So the last story was Japan and this is China. So we kind of learn about the region and we'll point out the areas on the map and put the little disc from five in a row on the map so that they can make that connection. Um, we have read this one many times, but we're going to use this with five in a row and do the activities. And they like this book already a lot. So I think it'll be fun for them to do the activities as well. Okay, and this is another Chinese book that we haven't opened up yet. So I'm excited. We, this is the only one that we haven't opened and looked into yet, but seems like a really good one. But I am in search for more just picture books and heartwarming stories on China. So if you have any stories that are based in China or um, just anything like that that is educational about China that has really been heartwarming for your kids, please comment below and let me know because I am gathering resources for all of the different rotations so that each year it's something new. And so, I mean, we have like a couple, we've got three, you know, but we've already read these. And so, I don't know, just having some more, I think would be fun. And then I will get onto my Australia materials towards the end because we haven't gotten to that yet. I want to do Australia last because next month is going into learning about like marine biology in the ocean. And I feel like Australia is a good transition into learning about the ocean. So we're gonna do that towards the end of the month. But um, this is an Osborne book, The Solar System. So this has been good for learning about the planets. And then my kids have really loved this book. This is um, just a lip, lift the flap book. And so they've really enjoyed 
me reading this and then lifting the flap and finding out things about space. So that has been really fun. They love this book and ask for it all the time. So I have showed it in my previous videos when I showed what curriculum we picked because this is new, but they have just loved this pop-up book, especially my four-year-old, who's almost five. But so we've read this one several times already. We've only, we're only two weeks into school. We did start this month early because there's just, I don't know, we just wanted to start school. We like school at our house. And we have loved this book, also read this one several times, and it does a really good job of like actually teaching the planets and a little bit about each planet in a fun, silly way, obviously, because it's Dr. Seuss, but um, like showing that Jupiter is the biggest and it's bigger than all of them combined. So it's just got a lot of fun facts. Also talks about constellations and the stars. So it kind of just like wraps it all up in one fun little cute story. So we've really enjoyed that one as well. This is a resource that I have loved and we pick it out and we'll read like one page at a time, obviously, because it's like huge. We can't just sit down and read the whole thing, but it's super educational and it's beautiful. The pictures in this, obviously, like look how pretty that is. So we have really enjoyed these books. Um, we've just got them on Amazon. So like it'll have a picture of meteorites and then have um, all this information that you could just read. And it's, it's a, uh, really good my kids it's really captured my kids attention and it's not too much text on one page per picture so that's been really good for them it's really aesthetically pleasing so they really like to sit and listen to um what's in here okay so these are some resources that we haven't got to yet um for the stars but we're planning on using them this month and that is the first one is Starry Messenger. So this is about Galileo. So I'm really interested or excited to um, read this one to my kids. Get some space history in there. And then this one's just a fun story, Many Moons. This one is recommended on the Well Educated Heart website, I think, as well as this one. So we picked up those. And of course, all the books from the Well Educated Heart are just amazing okay and then i'm excited to read this one too this one's about constellations once upon a starry night um at least i think yes it is about constellations so look how pretty that is it talks about pegasus so those are the ones that we're really looking forward to using this month um and then at the end when we're all done we'll probably do a little craft but then i also this is kind of just something for them to get excited about when we finish is making this um, planet mobile. So they get to paint all the planets and name them and put them on and kind of talk about um, the differences between all of them and the characteristics of each one. So they're super excited about this. It's on the shelf and they can see it and they just know that when we're done learning about space, they'll be able to do their little mobile. Okay, so on to Australia. I'm really excited about what we picked to learn about Australia. So once we're done going through all of our Chinese study, we'll be going on to Australia. So another thing that we have been using for stars is reading stars from the nature series. I love the nature series from the Well-Educated Heart. Um, this one has actually been really interesting to learn about. I have been reading this from the beginning and it talks about astronomy and astronomers and what astronomers are. And it doesn't talk down to the kids, which I love. I think it's really important to talk to kids in adult language so that they can increase their vocabulary and understand good, rich literature. It's been a really good resource for um, this unit. I have gathered some resources um, to help us learn about Australia and I'm super excited about it. A lot of these books are coming from a curriculum that I've purchased and I think I'm going to save that curriculum for the end. I have loved using all of their curriculum and they have a unit study for Australia that they call the land down under. So we're excited to get into that. But um, one of the resources that they suggest is um, this book, the Where is the Great Barrier Reef? And I didn't realize that I already had one, so I purchased another one and now I have two. But I actually think this will be really good because I can read from one and then have my daughter follow along um, with the other one. So I think that will be good. I'm excited to read that. And then I got this as a free read for my daughter. We just already had this book. So I thought now would be a good time. And then when she's done with that, there's also this one. This is um, one that the curriculum suggested as well. 
So I think this one will be fun. They always have really good suggestions. This is another one that they recommended. My grandma lived in Gulig Gulch. Did I say that right? I don't know. <laughs> but this one will be fun too. A picture book that I can include my little boy in. And then welcome to country. Welcome to country, a traditional Aboriginal ceremony. So that kind of gets into like the traditions of Australia and their Australian roots. And then this is the next one I'm excited about, just Australia tales and a book about koalas, Koala Lou. So those are some fun resources to go with what we have purchased to go with Australia. Oh, okay, so there's a lot that goes in with this, but so we have used this company's uh, history curriculum, American history curriculum, and we have loved it. And they are a startup company, so they have not come out with a whole lot more after American history, but they came out with an Australian unit study, so I'm really excited about it. This is from the Mindful Heart, and they have the unit, um, the Western World Collection. They have the Lamb Down Under. So this is all just, this is the parent guide and it has all of your activities and things that you're going to do with your kids in here. <clears throat> it, I mean, it has everything. It tells you when to do your math and what math activities, like it has little things to supplement like your math and your reading and all of that, but it also has a bunch of Australia resources. So it comes with a parent guide and then it has these for your kids. So it has hymns in here or folk songs. I think there's hymns in here as well. So that's like an Australian folk song. It's got scriptures, it's got poetry. Um, and this curriculum is um, Church of Jesus Christ based. So it will have some of the Church of Jesus Christ doctrines in it. Um, but I don't think it's a whole lot. I don't think it would be a big problem if you weren't a member of the church you could just skip those parts but look how cool this is this is like the kids workbook for each lesson so they can draw and write what they think about it um they have like more pages for note keeping this is gonna be fun for the kids they always love getting their own little notebook each unit study and having ownership over it in that way but um, the Mindful Art has picture study that goes with each unit. And so this is the first time I've actually opened this up. So I'm excited to see what art that they have for Australia. So they have a scripture that goes with it. This is um, based off of the Church of Jesus Christ doctrine. So you can supplement that with a different scripture if you don't follow that. But it comes with a poem and then... How cool is this? I'm just taking a look at it for the first time through my phone. <laughs> okay, that is so cool. So I usually laminate these and hang these up in the room when we go through this. So we will do picture study. It also has information on the back um, of each picture. So that's fun. Also, you have the option of either getting the online P interactive PDF of their Mindful Explorations book and this has just so many fun stories that have to do with Australia. Stories, crafts. So, I mean, you don't even have to purchase this book. You can get the PDF of this online. But look how cool this is. So, we have thoroughly enjoyed this program. Oh, see, look, it's gonna have you draw a kangaroo and a little bit about kangaroos. It's so fun. Another story. So it just has stories and activities and um, I believe it also has, it will prompt you to do copy work out of this. I'm not quite sure where that is in the book, but it even has recipes in here. So it's just really fun. Um, one of the reasons why I started early with the first month of the Well-Educated Heart is because I wanted to do this unit study for Australia and this is a whole month of study. So wanted to start a little early. I might kind of go into the next month while I'm finishing this up, but 
I didn't want to skip this because it's super exciting. Um, I believe that the Mindful Heart was inspired by the Well-Educated Heart, so it has a rotation, but it just kind of has a curriculum that goes with it, so it's structure. Um, but I, I also love how the Well-Educated Heart doesn't have a curriculum that goes with it, where it gives you the freedom to just, it gives you all these resources, and then you get to pick and choose what you want to teach with your family and when to teach it. And I honestly like the pressure of not having to get through a bunch of stuff in a certain set of time. So that's what I love about the Well-Educated Heart. But then I also really love this as well. So we kind of do back and forth. Um, that is what we're using for um, the first month of the Well-Educated Heart rotation. So I'm super excited. The kids are excited. They have had a good time so far. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.